and welcome to Susan's Kitchen. Today we've got a very interesting episode. And uh, you know, this, is, this, this touches me deeply because we're talking about young ladies who don't cook. And you know, that, that boggles my mind. I'm thinking, why? What do these young ladies do? What are they eating? What's happening with us? Why have we stopped cooking? I want to hear from some beautiful young ladies we have on the studio today, in the studio with me. Uh, I want to hear from just what's, what's going on with, with the youngsters nowadays. What's, what's happening? Why are we not cooking? Um, and, and what are we doing instead? And how do we fix it? Because it has to be fixed. Okay. To my right, I have Anne. Thanks Hi. for coming. Hello. To my left, I've got Mercy. Hey. Thanks for coming. Tell me what you do, Anne. What do you do? I'm a businesswoman. Yes. I sell cosmetics. Yes. And uh, to be honest, Susan, we honestly don't have time because you get late in the house and you just shower and go to bed. You don't have any time to cook, make any meal. So on your way home, that's when you get maybe something, fast foods. Just get something and you just sleep. Just that, yeah. I know it gets, it gets busy for us. We get really busy. So tell me, what do you do? You grab something in the evening, you go yes, home and yes, you eat. Yes. What, what something is that that you're grabbing? <laughs> well, nice. Something simple like pizza or um, just chips. Something just that simple. Or even at times you can even uh, get some fruits from the supermarket. Nowadays you get everything from the supermarket. You even get chapatis cooked, so you just go and warm and you just eat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And what do you eat in the daytime? During the day, again, um, still fast foods. But now you get a, a bit of salads yeah, from just the shops nearby. So that's how we survive, imagine. I'm glad you mentioned, in, in some of those foods, you mentioned salads yes. and you mentioned chapati mm -hmm. in the store. So I'm, I'm glad to hear there's something apart from uh, chips. chips. <laughs> OK, yeah. all right, Anne, all right. Mercy, tell me, what's your story? Kitchen is just not my place. Like, I watch movies the whole day. Then you check time, it's like, Already lunchtime, you just go pick fries, come eat, then continue watching the movie. I just don't like kitchen. Are you hearing? Are you hearing? <laughs> that's, that's no, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, don't, don't, don't be angry with me. Don't be angry. I'm not judging. I'm just, it's different from what I do. So it's, it's, it's uh, interesting for me to hear. Okay, like, are you, are you married? Uh, no. Do you have like, children? Do you yeah. have children? No, I don't. Married? No. no. Mm. Okay, so you, you single, you people. Yeah. Mm. So, so uh, what are you doing right now? Do you work? I just finished school. You just finished school? Yeah. I see. Why is it you yourself don't cook? Okay, ever since, like, we've always been having house help, so, like, I never used to go to the kitchen. Do you two know that food is, is vital to your health? It's true. Do you, do you know that? Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. And how do you eat chips every day and you keep slim like that? I don't know. I... You don't work out. You're, you're, blessed. Work out. you're blessed. Yeah, no, you're, she's yes. blessed. She's blessed. <laughs> I want to show you today, and I want to, I want to impart the importance of taking care of yourself in terms of food. Yeah. Food is your health, and I tell you, when you lose the health, you've got nothing else. I'm glad you've come, and thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And you're not shy to tell us that. Thank you. <laughs> I'll I'll give you guys um, tips on how you can be a little organized you need to be a little, little organized in order to eat well and then you know put, have a menu i'll tell you how to do that later we're going to take a small break we're going to take a small break and we're going to come back stay tuned and don't go away all right we're going to start with gideri and it is a different gideri in that it's using jahe yeah. which is a black bean mm -hmm. and it is using uh mince meat wow because one of the things I hear people telling me is, ah, oh, that is boring, that is boring. But it's, if you just think out of the box and, and try different ingredients, yeah. that is how you make your food exciting. So um, it's important to do that, and then you don't complain, it's boring. All right, we're going to start. Hmm? Yeah. I'd honestly love to see that. I'm glad, I'm glad. This yeah. is a little oil. Yeah. Please, please use liquid oil as much as you can at home. Okay. Don't, try not to use the solid fats if you can. Yeah? So would you tell us why? It's healthy. Okay. Most, okay. It's, it's healthy. Yeah. Okay. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. This is a little margarine or butter if you have it. I love to cook with butter uh, with the beans. When you're doing beans, yeah. it tastes nice. It tastes very nice. Let me turn that down a little. Now the thing with margarine and butter is they burn quickly. Okay. So if you've got a high fire on like this, mm -hmm. you need to watch it so it doesn't burn. 
I'm keeping it on high so that it continues to cook well. Okay. All right, so that's oil. We put mm. in the onions. Yeah. Do you like onions? I do. Huh? You do? I, I, you yeah. do, huh? You just love the taste yeah. and the flavor. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do the stirring for me, please. Mm, lovely. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. And you want the onions just to become brown? A little bit. A little brown. bit. Yeah. Okay. So I keep and turning then, like And this. then you see, with onions, mm -hmm. you can just let, let them be very soft, just like this. Yeah. Or you can let them become brown, brown. Sometimes I almost burn mine. You know why? Yeah. It gives a different flavor. And in this case, won't it to be brown or um, a little, soft? A little. A little tanning. Yeah, that's okay. And then I'm waiting my, to impress my, my friend. Yes, in yes, please. And then can you just time. can you write to me? <laughs> you write to I me. I love to say thank you. And tell me how it went, <laughs> and and what they thought of it, and, and and you and your experience of with course. it. Those are tomatoes. Okay. How long will this take? The gideri dish. Yeah. This can take about this can take about fifteen minutes. Wow. So, so okay, no, that's fine. Okay. I want it to become mushy. Mushy. Yeah. So just let it sit a little bit, it okay. becomes mushy. So what you do, let me tell you how to get organized. Yeah. Make a week's mm -hmm. menu. Yeah. Buy those ingredients. Mm -hmm. You have house help at home? No. You don't have house help. Mm -hmm. I do everything by myself. That's why most of the time we just you just don't even cook. When you is, to cook. When is your day off? On Sundays. Okay. Yeah. You've got your you've got Sunday. your menu for the week. Yeah. Da 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 da, da Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, buy the ingredients. Or in between somewhere. Yeah. Buy the yeah. ingredients. Yeah. Sunday, prep. Prepping I mean chop your onions, chop your boil the maize, boil yeah. the freeze it. Put it in the fridge. You have a fridge? Yes, I do. Put it in the fridge. Why? Are you, that's what the fridge is for. That's it's a morning. I'm here to learn. I'm here you know, to learn to them. You know? Yeah. That's what the fridge is for. Sorry, I want to put in just a little water into it. Okay. This is hot water. Okay. And the fire is still on high. Okay, Dania. Dania. You familiar with Dania? I am. Yeah? Do you like it? Yes. Chop it up and put it in. Okay. I still. Yes, that's okay. This is garlic. ginger. Ginger, okay. This one is garlic. Okay. Do you like oh. those? Yeah, I do. Put them in. When you do garlic and ginger, mm -hmm. crush it or chop it very small like this. Okay. Don't, don't do ginger. You know ginger is strong. So don't have it in big chunks because if you chew on that, it's strong. It's, it will yeah. be. It will so be cut, nice. it, cut it small and yeah. it also, cutting it small allows the flavor to be, be imparted into the food. Mm -hmm. It goes out into yeah. the food. Yeah. So do it small. Okay. okay. All right. Next, mm -hmm. this is beef mincemeat. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. When you put the mincemeat in, mm -hmm. uh, mix it and break up those lumps. Can you see the lumps? Oh, yeah. Break them up. If you don't break them up, it's going to cook in a lump, and you will, later on you won't be able. Okay. You won't be able to, you know, break it apart. Yeah, yeah. And then that's not nice because you want the meat to cook in the middle. Yes. So and mincemeat cooks very fast. So you have to yeah. break it. Yeah. All right, once the mincemeat has broken up, yeah. it has cooked, you're not seeing any more blood in the meat, it's mm -hmm. not pink, mm -hmm. yeah? Then we're ready to put in the next ingredient. Okay, you see these bits? And then the fire is still on high. Okay. But you have to, you can't move very far, because uh, it will burn. There's, high, there's not enough liquid, you yeah. see, because it, yeah. so it will burn quickly. Okay, next is jahe beans. Yeah. These are ready cooked. They're ready and you, you, cook, them, them. you cook them to death. Yes. And what I mean by yeah. that is you mm -hmm. can press it like this and it's mm -hmm. cooked. Yeah. All right? Okay. But you see, these take a while to, to cook. They take a while to cook. Mm -hmm. So you, ha you have to do it ahead of time. Okay. So that when you want your meal, it's quick. Yeah. It can be. Okay, see how the njahe look? And the maize you can put, yeah. The maize you can put, um, the, the, the ratio the quantity of beans to maize, mm -hmm. you, you can adjust as you like. I like a balance, half and half, half or maybe the kidogo maize a little less. Okay. Okay, so that's that's that. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something else. How you can do this in 50 minutes is that these are cooked. They're so cooked. They're cooked. Mm -hmm. So that means you've done it ahead of time, you've boiled it, you've put it in the fridge. You pack them. When you cook a kilo of maize, then you, you buy plastic bags and you separate them into portions. Mm -hmm. So that you you know, so that you, you're not having to defrost the whole big thing. Yes. You've got your portions. Okay and you've wrapped it in the freezer, mm -hmm. and they'll sit there for a month. Wow. And wow. you pull it out when you want. All right, Michael. Okay. 
Reiko. Uh -huh. I like Reiko because it is a quick way. If you don't have garam masala, you don't have chili powder, you don't have uh, curry powder, you don't have um, uh, turmeric. Huh? This is a quick way to sort of get those things. Yeah, all of them. All, all of them together because it has color. Uh, it has a spicy. This is a spicy beef, beef. flavor. Mm -hmm. So it gives you huh, that taste. I'm putting about yeah, a heaped one. tablespoon okay. for this kind of quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then where's my cold water? So what you do, you mix it on the side. You some see the water. colors already changing? Yes. You mix it on the side with yeah. some water mm -hmm. and you mix it completely. You mix it completely. Now, yes. okay, Royco is a seasoning. Okay. Have you got that smell? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's for go. It to yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good. Mm. Good. Stir. stir. <laughs> Royco is a thickener mm -hmm. and it also adds flavor. Color. Color. Now, I have seen that it is already. This is cooked, eh? It's ready. I'm seeing that it is already a little thick. Did you see it got yeah, thicker okay. when we added the Royco? Yes, we can. You can feel it even, eh? Yeah, Are you did, feeling? It okay, give it a good, a quick stir. So, give it a quick stir. Okay. Now, we're done. We're done. Some salt. First, let's taste. First, let's taste. Because, let me turn that fire down. You always taste your food before okay. you... Of course, if you're, if you're cooking for yourself, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but if you're cooking for people... You have to taste. Mm. No salt. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> yes, no salt. You know why we're not going to add salt? No. It's because Royco is salted. Ah, okay. So be careful when you use Royco. Do, this, do your salting at the very end after you've put all your stuff in, then you have a taste uh, before you add because mm -hmm. you don't want your food to be too salty. That's yeah. a big mistake some of us make. Yes. This is ready. Yes, Shall we do pepper? Yes. Yeah. Let's do pepper. The meal is ready. The meal is ready. Just showing Anne how she can do something like this. She enjoys the Gedevi. If she's organized and she gets her things together, that she can actually come home and eat and, and whip it up in 15 minutes and sit down and eat her plate of Gedevi. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a small break. Okay? Yes. And when we come back, we're going to do with you some of the next dish, which is a tilapia in coconut milk. Stay tuned. Welcome back, you're watching Susan's Kitchen. We've got a wonderful show today where we've got these two beautiful young ladies telling us all about how they don't cook and what are the reasons they don't cook. This is Mercy standing next to me. I've got Anne right in front. Um, Anne joined me earlier on to do a Gideri dish. Yeah. What did you think? It took uh, quite a, a short period of time. Yes. That's what I love most about it. Yes. All right, now with Mercy, I'm going to show you something else. We're going to do tilapia fish yeah. uh, in coconut in coconut sauce. Do you okay. like fish? Yeah, really, I do. Okay, and then we'll make a sauce to go with that, and I'll show you how to keep the sauce low fat. Mm -hmm. Low fat is very important, <clears throat> everybody. Uh, you know, we don't want to be eating and, and exploding, yeah. you know, because that's the other thing. You want to keep, you want to maintain your size, mm -hmm. isn't it? And you still want to eat good food. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? How do you do it? Yeah, all right. Are they going to use the all right. Meat? Let me show you. Let me open this. Um, okay. Let me explain first. This is a tilapia fish. Yeah. I've cut it in half, and let me just move this here so we can see. When you go to the fishmongers, mm -hmm. you tell them you want you know your tilapia or whatever fish it is that you want, mm -hmm. and if you're buying it whole, you tell them to clean it for you. So that means they take off the scales. Okay. You know what the scales are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they take off the scales like this, and they degut it. They tuck you know, the, all the insides and they clean for you. So you get your fish and then you slit it. Do you see what we've done? And the reason you slit is because you want it to cook yeah. faster. This is the head section and you see, nice pink fish. This is the way you want it, nice and fresh when you buy your fish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the eyes should be looking nice and fresh. And the color should be nice and gray. This is a gray one, this tilapia. Yeah? And you slit on this side too. And that just allows for the cooking to happen faster. I've put some oil in here. Okay, it's hot. Um, yes. Already. Now this, this is a Rampton's machine. Yeah. Um, and these are some of the, the things that we can do for ourselves as women to make it easier in the kitchen for us. Yeah. It's a deep fryer. It can make you know, fries. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's asking, can it make <laughs> no, fries? Not by one. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it can make fries. It can. All right. 
Mandazi. Yes, mandazi. Anything that needs deep frying, okay. it can do. And I like it because it has a temperature control. Mm -hmm. You put the temperature in there. You put your oil. This is liquid oil, um, not solid fat, huh? liquid oil. Then you take your fish and you put the fish onto paper like this. The reason is the fish is wet because we've just washed it. And if you put something wet into oil, have you, have you ever seen what happens? Yeah. If you, if you have wet hands and you splash like this. It splashes on you. It just splatters all over the place. So you want to dry the fish. This is, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm patting. I'm patting it to remove the, the water. The water, yeah? yeah? The water, because I don't want it to splatter when I put it in. Okay, let's see if it's gonna work. Yeah. Can I do it with this? Yeah, yeah, you wanna try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me get a fork and see if I can move that over a little bit. Just press, 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 yeah. Yes, that's good. So, you see how this machine controls the temperature for you? Yeah. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the things burning, because it's, it's got a temperature control. So, so you set it yourself, or it, it can do it automatically? No, you set it. It even has uh, a, a level, it tells you how much oil to put, so you're not just guessing. Okay. It shows you how the maximum line level for the oil. Okay, I'll leave that to cook. Okay, we turn on the heat on the, on the pot, all right? Yeah. Now, because we're deep frying mm -hmm. the fish, I am not gonna add any oil into the stew. Yeah. No oil at all, because uh, you don't need it. It's, you have enough oil from there. Yeah. So you use to cook the tomatoes and the onions. I'll show you. Let it warm. Secret ingredient: coconut uh, milk. Is it milk? Oh, coconut okay. milk. <laughs> mm. Coconut milk. Mm. Very simple sauce. Very simple. Coconut milk. And then when it starts to boil, you can see it's boiling a little bit on the edges. We're gonna add all these in. Go ahead and put the onions in, please. Right now? Yes, go ahead. I love it. Yes. Do you like onions? Yeah. If you don't, don't put them all in. No? You don't mind? Yeah, I don't mind. You can, you know, with um, these kind of things, onions, tomatoes, garlic, you can put as you like. Yeah. If you don't like too much garlic, then yeah. you don't do it. You don't put a lot. We leave it to cook. Sorry. Yes. We leave it to yes. Cook Let's see it catch a boil. Yes. These are fish coming. Yeah, pola pola. I want to submerge it. It should be submerged. <clears throat> I might take off the top part piece and let the other one cook first. So it has to like. Cook kabisa, cheese yes. brown or something. Yes. Okay. Yes, you want it to become brown. So I'm gonna see if I can take off the top one. Mm -hmm. If I can't, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Can you bring the plate closer for me, please? Let's bring it right here. Bring it right close. Oops. All right, can you add in the next thing here, which is the tomatoes, please? Yes. Now, what I want to happen here mm -hmm. is those onions to become soft and the tomatoes to mush, just become quite mush. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put this in. What's the purpose of that? Okay, you were asking it, about this, eh? <clears throat> What did you call it? You said the red <laughs> thing. Some red stuff. <laughs> the red stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is tomato puree. They also call it tomato paste. 
and you buy it in a tin, just like this. You open the tin and it's just like this. And what this does is it adds color, beautiful color, and it makes the food thick. So when we put it in here, you'll see it'll get a bit thicker and it adds wonderful color. And then it's tomato, it's a tomato concentrate, so it gives a little flavor too, yeah? That is what that is. And this is lemon. Lemon works very well with fish. It works very well with fish. And you put that in at the very end. I want you to take the tomato puree. There's a tablespoon just there. And give me about maybe just a tip on the tip, maybe a half up to here. And put it in there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Put it right in there first. That's enough. Now the fish, while you're doing that, let's see. I cover this. This I, I like this because it, it um, keeps from the spluttering mm -hmm. when it splutters. Yeah, okay. And all that smoke and steam we're seeing is coming out from here, which is nice. Okay. All right. This is good. I'm going to turn it off. And that's going to catch a, uh, some... Oh, yes. You put it in and you've mixed yeah, it in. Yeah. Did you see the color change? Yeah. A little bit, yeah? It's really sure. Yeah. Fish is done. It's browned. Okay, it's nice enough. And I've turned this off and I'm going to cover it so that uh, it, the heat stays in there. All right, now here we want it just to warm up a little. We've put the puree inside. It's all mixed, yeah? Mm -hmm. What's missing is salt. Do you like pepper? Yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit. Black pepper? Yeah, yeah. All right, salt. A little bit black pepper. Just a little, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to turn off the fire. And then this is a final ingredient. Do you remember what I said it was? Lemon. Do you remember? Yes, yeah. it was lemon. Okay. Yeah. And that goes in at the end, not in any other time. At the end. And then give that stir. Right. Our meal is done, and we're going to do some plating. end of the show thank you so much my name is Susan Kamau and for these recipes please go to my website www.kenyankitchen.co.ke and please get the magazine it's called Kenyan Kitchen it's on the shelves in the supermarkets and you'll be able to get these recipes and 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 keep them collect them and keep them so that three years later you're still looking at those wonderful recipes all right thank you so much for watching at home and girls in the studio thank you so much for coming I've had a great time Thank you. I learned a lot today. And you know, can I say I'll, you know, give you a little push to um, get in the kitchen and do some great stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I have something funny, but they have developed some interest in cooking. So from today, I'm going to start cooking. You can make it very with minced meat, but it even sounds crazy. But the moment we, we made it, uh, it looked very possible, and I just loved it. It's delicious, and uh, of course, the time factor.